right, so uh, let's call it the $4.5 billion bet uh, on Bitcoin. And I'm uh, next guest. They're still stacking up that bet. Michael Saylor is now the executive chairman at MicroStrategy. Michael, you know, a year ago, you stepped down as the CEO of the company. The haters were dancing on your grave, my man. I mean, Bitcoin was going down. Your stock was going down. Here we are now. Bitcoin's about $7,000 higher. Your stock's up 175%. Anything you want to say to the haters? You know, everybody's against Bitcoin before they're for Bitcoin. We welcome you all back with open arms. <laughs> and everybody gets Bitcoin at the price they deserve. <laughs> That's a good one. You, I guess you had a lot of time to really work on that, but I dig it. That was a great, great comeback. But so I'm going through the uh, earnings report from MicroStrategy and I see $4.5 billion in buying more. I, you know, listen, again, it's one thing to say I, I like Bitcoin. I bought some Bitcoin. I still don't think I know anyone who's put more the money, the money where their mouth is more than you have. You know, well, we, be we believe Bitcoin's the apex property of the human race. It's up 145% in the past three years versus the S&P 37%. You know, and it's engineered to be better gold than gold. And it's, it's a big tech monopoly, but without the company attached. So I believe that there's massive institutional demand for Bitcoin exposure. MicroStrategy is building its balance sheet so we can accommodate institutions that want to get on board. Speaking of that, uh, a lot of the same institutions that hated Bitcoin, many of them, not only just getting on board, they're becoming advocates. I mean, now I hear people say negative things about Bitcoin and some of these institutions chime in and say, no, it's a good investment. Well, it's the first digital commodity that's been invented in 5,000 years. And so it's understandable that until you understand it, an intelligent person will be and should be skeptical. But once people understand Bitcoin, they think, oh, you know, oh, my God, I just I just have to be part of this movement. I saw where an actor, a, a relatively famous actor, just wrote a book, a negative book about Bitcoin, uh, saying the whole thing was a scam. It felt like it should have been focused more on, on the on the uh, Sam Bankman Freeds of the world who really had nothing to do with Bitcoin per se. You know, it was a scamster from the very beginning. But he but he lumped in all of Bitcoin and cryptocurrency. What do you think he's missing? What part of the story? He seems like an intelligent guy. Do you think he's missing? I think he's missing the fact that Bitcoin, the protocol, is an open protocol like the English language or like mathematics that's available to the entire human race. It's also like fire or like electricity. And when we point to people that burn themselves or shock themselves because they misused fire or they misused electricity, that doesn't mean that electricity and fire aren't useful. Bitcoin is an empowerment for the entire human race, but people will from time to time misuse it. And when they do, you know, their companies will suffer. Right. So this is sort of the inverse of what they were trying to get across with the Greek myths, you know, Prometheus and all those. They wanted to keep people locked in. Right. They didn't want people to go out there. They didn't want people to be adventurous. They wanted them to stay locked in and afraid. You want to free them, it sounds like. So on the messaging part, I want to stick with this for a moment because I saw a video, I guess some of the actresses, the ladies from the Barbie movie, downplaying Bitcoin. And of course, you clapped back saying that Bitcoin had that big kid energy. Has some of the bloom faded off the rose? Because a few years ago, all young people were talking Bitcoin. Bitcoin's going to be more exciting than ever in the coming 12 months. We, we, we went through a difficult year in 2022. But uh, the mojo is back in 2023 and 2024 is going to be fabulous. I'm going to ask you a question about your company for a moment, the micro strategy, because I'm going through the earnings report. AI, everyone's talking AI, the, the role of AI for your company. And there's just some sort of a role with respect uh, to maybe the mining or evolution of Bitcoin. Well, we're really excited about AI. We partnered with Microsoft OpenAI to bring a new product called MicroStrategy AI to market in the third quarter. We're going to sell that to our existing customers. And generally what AI means is that all of our products work better, all of our customers are more efficient, and we should be able to run our operation more effectively. So it, it's just all around great for MicroStrategy, the enterprise. Well, I got to tell you, uh, congratulations. I, I like how you're doing the, the sort of humble brag. It, it looks good on you. Uh, keep it going. We appreciate the message, Michael. Talk to you again soon. Thank you, Charles.